I feel you. I know you're here. Not, not you. I know you're coming. I'm late, but I know he's here. I hope you show up. You are here. Good. All right. Oh, that's terrible coffee. Yeah. Mm. Tea's better. Juliana, Juliana, bum, bum, bum. Oh, you are next to, I knew you were there. Oh, Juliana. Hi, where are we you? Have Hi. What? Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. Okay, is that a barefoot dreams? Um, or is that a robe or a sweater? What is it that? Is, it's like a coat again, like coat again. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 There's, there's a brand that I have all my cozy stuff through and you get it at uh, Saks or like really nice spas or Nemitz or something. And it's called barefoot dreams I'm and obsessed. it's the most cozy. You, obsessed. you know, oh yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. When I'm not, when I'm not decked out like a psychic today this is weird my husband was like you look like a gypsy i was like i didn't want to wash i my think hair. you look beautiful well thank you thank you i appreciate you i appreciate you well let me tell you something spooky that happened okay <laughs> for you okay so oh austin you're not near austin right or are you in text you're probably not no where are you at i'm currently in california you are. Okay, it just said Austin. And I have a guy that I just read named Austin. And so that's why I was like weird. I was okay. like, maybe it's talking about you. No. Okay. No. What? Okay. That's the reason why I asked you. Okay. So there's, so let me tell you just what happened. So I cleared my spirit box. I had something interesting show up at the very, very end of my last session. Like said bye, got out of it. I got two responses. I go when I take a second and I breathe because I was running about five minutes behind. And then I hop into yours. And I was like, oh, my God. So I cleared it out and I could feel this and I'll show you those in just a second. But I could feel that there was somebody that essentially just showed up and they were like, hey, hi, how are you? And I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. And so I'll take a screenshot of this real quick. And it's the, the first thing I got is on the bottom. OK, so right when I restarted it. And oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. Anyways, uh, you can't really. It says I'm next to you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so you're going to see me on the recording. I'm like, oh, really? You are. That's great. I know you are. You're like here. So we're going to talk about what happened. The other thing that was interesting is that I don't I think this is for you. I don't think it was for me. I just saved that. Um, but uh, at the very end, I could feel like something revving up and um, I got this. So this was the first thing. Aww. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. For the second thing, though? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So we're going to see what else we get. So I'm resetting oh, it all. I know. I know. I have my see, tissues are expensive when you go through thousands. So I use toilet paper. Yeah. I got my now. tissues. See? Well, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And we are going to go through this. Hold on. And obviously, we're not going to fully rely on this, but some things are pretty. Like, I had my last client, her daughter booked an appointment for her. She's about 65 and is like, I don't believe in this, but I want to do it. Um, the first person that shows up, the name says Betty. That was her mom that just died. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. So, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, we, it's, it's legit. God. It's a legit thing. Um, okay. But, oh. Okay, so let me tell you how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and zone out real quick and start right. looking like a deer in headlights. Um, I'm just staring at this or lights or nothing. Um, the other thing is I'm going to have my scribble pad. So okay. when my arm starts moving, I'm not taking notes on you. I'm just scribbling. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing is people, you know, ask, how do you do this? Um, how does this make sense? You're going to see me gradually talk more worse as we get into this because I'm zoning out. So Obviously, when they show up, what happens is you can kind of feel them. How do you feel them? Um, so your space that you're normally in um, feels a certain way. It's like empty and airy and light. And if you get hypersensitive to stuff, when a spirit shows up, it doesn't feel that way anymore. It feels like somebody shows up in the room with you, essentially, but you can't see him. Okay, so that's when spirit shows up. The next thing, though, is, you know, how do they talk? Well, when they talk, 
you know, they use your energy. They use your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, because you are the one with the connection. I'm not. I just work here. But what we're saying is we're saying, hey, I love you so much. I want you to hop in Amy's body, play with her brain, and use it like a computer, and try to get her to understand your life through her experiences. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. So when they talk, they kind of like have four ways to do it. The first way is that they will go through and they will all look at that in just a second. The first thing is that they will go through and they will give me all these signs and symbols. They may show me something like a, a blueberry. That means that they're from Maine or like a pineapple means they're from Florida. Um, they'll put all these symbols in a line and they'll create a sentence in my head. And I have to tell you what it is. The next thing is that they will try to put me in situations like almost like a daydream um, or scenarios that could have happened to you, could happen to them or will happen to you. Um, mm -hmm. The only issue here personally is I'm from Houston, Texas. I currently live in the middle of nowhere in East Texas next to Louisiana border, essentially. Um, I don't believe in snow. I haven't been to essentially any state from like Kansas and up. Um, mm -hmm. I've been to California though. And so if you ask me something like, you know, what did my neighborhood look like in Wisconsin? I don't know. I have no okay. idea. You know, I don't even know what a house looks like there, right? Um, yeah. And the, the other thing, though, is that they may be able to tell me something about that if I've seen, like, a movie, a YouTube video, another okay. client experience. Okay. They'll bring that up, and they'll try to essentially okay. mash it together, okay? okay. Um, so it may not be 100%, but it can get to, like, 99.9. .9. Um, the last two things are that they will talk mainly in feelings. This is how they talk to you, but you just don't know that that's how they talk so what they do is like if it's a dad that shows up they will make me feel what it was like for me to love my father and I'll be like oh there's a loving father energy here or they'll make me feel like let's say sometimes you'll hear me say something like do you have like a seven-year-old child and are they like special needs you know where yeah. did I get that from so yeah. they'll make me feel what it was like for me to love my son and then they will make me essentially feel what it was like for me to like kind of teach in a special needs class like all in like half of a okay. second Okay. And then I'm, that's how I put that together. The okay. last thing. Yeah. And so you're getting all these random feelings during the day and you're like, why? Did yeah. Well, it's words. It's a sentence, but you just, we okay. just are not taught how to do that. Okay. And then the last thing is just words. They'll just talk. Sometimes they will just pull stuff out of my head and I got to tell you what they are. Um, and my that's essentially so, it. He's so extroverted that I'm sure it's just going to be like. <laughs> and, and Yes. Well, okay. So let me tell you how that works. So he is going, he's never done this before probably. Um, and so he's going to try to hop in and essentially think of my brain as like a radio. We're like tuning into it. And so we're trying to get on that same sync. Okay. Um, and um, 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 it's starting to happen right now. Um, so hold on. Let me go and make sure that my, it's enabled. It's disabled. Sorry. Zoom likes to go through and um disable my microphone okay there we go now we're good uh, hold on okay hold on stay there, there and the whole time all i really need you to do is just as i say you know hey does this make sense you go hell yeah it does or no it doesn't and okay the reason for that is that i want to figure out what he wants to say this is a yeah. big puzzle it's my favorite thing and so we got to work together but I have to have you say yes, because okay. when I get all this stuff and I'm putting it in and I'm turning it into words and when you go, yeah. hell yeah, Amy, that's the thing. I go, holy shit. Okay, good. She got it. You got it. I described it correctly. All right. And then I move forward. Okay. okay. Yes. So it's this constant anxiety provoking thing, but it's so much fun. So stay with me. Um, you must have a lot of Leo Gemini in, not you, in <laughs> him somewhere because he is, hold on. Do you want to know kind of like what he feels like? And you're going to be like, what? Yeah. He feels like if <laughs> somebody had a youth pastor that was really poppy. And I know he's not a church person like that, but if somebody had like a youth pastor that's like, yeah, Come on, let's go. Are you ready for it? Ah, do you want to talk to me? I can change your life. Yeah. Like, that's how he feels. That's the best way I can describe this energy. But then he puts little horns. So, which means, like, we're not a big church person. That's okay. Then he says, like, this is not bad, though. I go, okay. So, tell me about, I'm going to ask him all these questions, and we're going to see what he can do. He, whoa, 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 what? Tell me, bud, where are you at? 
like upset. Um, he's this uh, family stuff. Um, he's walking around in a house right now. He just put car keys on a counter of a kitchen. Um, and he says like all this, all this, all this. And he says, uh, uh, for stuff, I don't understand. What is that about? Yeah. I just, yeah, it's weird. One, I one. just moved to Colorado into this massive 5,000 square foot house. And I, I joked with my husband. I joked with my husband and I could hear my dad saying all this. All this? Stuff, all stuff. this? <laughs> I put it down and then like, it's open. It's very open. Like in the kitchen, it's like very open. And he's yes. walking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So he's walking around in your home. And this is what they do. He'll describe your house, too. It's going to be a whole thing, okay? And mind you, I haven't seen every home, especially in Colorado, so it may be piecemealed a little bit, but just stay with me. So he made me feel like a... What? I don't know. Is it quartz? Are the countertops quartz? Or are they, like, Carrera? What are they? Do you know? They're not Carrera. They're quartz, aren't they? They're, they're super quartz. hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so my my husband uh, used to do multi million dollar renovations in California, and then moved out to yeah. Texas, and so I've learned all the different stones. And he yeah. gets these keys, and I said, "What are the countertops like?" Then Dad, tell me. And then he makes me feel it, and he looks at like something that I wanted to buy before. Anyways, he's talking yeah. about that. He says that, uh, and I don't get to enjoy it. That's what he keeps saying. He says, "Oh yeah, yeah, I do." And he says, "What? Oh." better one than that okay so you do have a cleaning lady now though yeah yes yeah yeah okay so let me tell you so i before i lost my cleaning lady um like two weeks ago she had uh, an issue and she essentially left town and i was like oh well thank you and so today before my sessions after i zoned out i got a call from this other place that i'd been asking about and they hi i hired them right and she was like oh and she has this like you like it's it's new better get a better one though so i don't know how long you're going to keep this one or if they're going to do that good a job so you may end up like getting a new one very soon yeah we're not that impressed with them oh yes <laughs> see yeah yeah he's talking about essentially like half-assing it and i go oh okay oh my god so yeah. my dad was a clean meticulous. I know. And his I house know. was like no one lived there. And he would have yeah. a clean come twice a week. And I was like, what the fuck is she cleaning, Dad? What is she cleaning? Like there's nothing. He to would just clean. And he she would he, come twice a week. Shut up. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. This is that uh, he's so isn't it interesting? Okay, so you can watch all of my stuff. I've never brought up cleaning ladies. I've never brought up anything like that this is how I'm they like, talk and I'm like, oh my gosh i know and he's talking about uh he makes all of his area very cool colors though like all of his house is very cool colors yes. is that a thing yes. <laughs> it yeah. was all yeah. blue yes it was all blue and white uh-huh it's like blue white and a little gray somehow in my yes. head it's very yeah uh-huh yeah, that's it's the color palette. He's like flashing colors in my head. And then he's making me walk into something and making me see it. Yeah, he's doing good. He says that. Tell me what? Why are you calling something a little shit? What are you doing? Uh, he says, come here, you little shit. So apparently, is there like a little dog running around here or a dog running around here somewhere? I have, I okay. have a little dog named Frankie. <laughs> yeah. And they were I love friends. that. Okay. Yeah. Ah! They're best friends. He goes, come here. Come here, little shit. I was like, oh, I don't think you're talking to your daughter. This must no. be a dog. Um, and he's talking about how, what? Tell me. He's like trying to pick up the dog, but he doesn't like to be picked up. We're going to leave him on the ground. He's like, I'm going to touch him. And he says, hold on. He's trying to figure out how to use my head. He says, what? Tell me. What? 
he's talking about how were we not going to put a TV in the downstairs living room? Is it because we have another area for it that's designated? What is that? It's weird, right? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> that is I'll tell so you how I got all this stuff. That is so yeah. random. But we mm -hmm. donated his two TVs and I wanted to put his big screen TV downstairs in the downstairs. living room. And I was pissed. I was so mm -hmm. pissed because my father we, my father in law already had a TV down there. And he didn't want to change it out. And I'm like, but we, ha there's already a TV down there. But I have a TV and it was my dad. Yeah. And I didn't want to oh. give the TV away. And we gave That's the TV That's why. Away. You gave it away. To our best friends, to our best friends. So we know where it is. Okay. Okay. This is what he goes. He goes, he's sitting in on like a couch. I don't. I'll have to describe the couch to you in a second. We're going to go to that next level, okay? And I said, so what are you doing? He says, and, and, and the TV, and the TV, you know, it would, it would fit this space good. It would fit this space well. It would do it appropriately. What is that? What are we doing with it? Why is it not in here? What is it because it needs to go someplace else? Why is that? And I'm like, maybe it's like in another room. And he says, it's, it's in another space. And I'm like, all right, so it's not broken. I don't know where this is at. So it's going to somebody else's house. Yeah, so it's okay. He, no, he says it's not okay, but I'm going to say it's okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So these, things, so he wants you to believe that he's here, and, and hey, I think so far he's doing a pretty good job. Um, yeah. and he's very fast. So let me tell you what he did. So how this works because he, this is how he's going to talk to you too. You just don't know it. So he essentially, when I sat here, I get into like this area of only in the now. I don't have any thoughts, feelings, emotions, nothing. That's called, I call it zoning out. That's just a thing. And then I can feel. And then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, come on. What do you want to talk about? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And he flashes an image of what would be a living room with a tall ass fireplace. Poof. So I don't know if this is real or if he's just trying to make this really. Okay. Yeah. Poof. And I'm like, okay. And he's talking about the awkwardness of this other TV and he puts it on the fireplace and he shifts it over here. Then he takes it and he puts it, he like throws it out essentially. And he's like on this couch like that. And he's just talking. That's what he does. So that's how he looks. And it's just all imaging and words and phrases. And uh, yeah, isn't it cool? Yeah, I know you don't. I know you don't. Um, he says, I, I didn't really believe in this stuff. I said, oh, okay, I get it. Uh, and now we're talking. And he's interesting. He just showed me um, acupuncture. Um, what? I don't know if he's trying to make comments that this is more like Eastern stuff, like talking about that, or if he feels like maybe he should have resorted to something else instead of Western medicine. I have no idea for stress T interesting hold on we're getting on something so I'm trying to work through a process with him real quick um I'm like did you do cupping no what he's funny he likes to show me he says he has he says he used to have really good back muscles I said well thank you for telling me that I appreciate that and he goes that's it. He doesn't have big arms or anything like that, but he's just funny. And he says that, um, what? But he's not a massage fan. He doesn't really like massages or anything like that. Is that a thing? He would, he would get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He would get them. Yeah. He goes like this. He says like, um, he puts like somebody rubbing this muscle on the shoulder. And then he goes, oh, they don't need to touch my body though. I was like, oh. Maybe we get them, but we don't like them. Or maybe we have, uh, I don't think he's a germaphobe, though. He's a clean oh. freak, but he's not a germaphobe. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, I was asking him if he was like Howie Mandel, and he looked at me and scoffed. So that's how I know. Um, he says, let's figure out what you do and what do you see now. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. He's talking about your, oh, closet? Um, 
are you going to like redo the racks or like the shelving in the closet or like what is going on with that is that a thing oh uh, interesting he just showed me california closets and i was like oh that's the thing in houston and i was like interesting and he had he shifted shoes around and shelving and racks and he says i like it though and he says that it's not perfect for you yet and i go oh okay and he's talking about being there for this and he says that but it's on the list you haven't done it yet you don't have an appointment yet for it no it's done and it was oh, it is done was done by shut california the fuck up Closet. it was done by california closets and i will say that i got did okay can you ask can i ask him something yes did he send me a sign in my closet i would have to say that that's probably where we're going with it okay. um okay. apps because i've never had a spirit talk about closets and w real quick let me you know how you just said it was done by california closets I'm from Houston, Texas. They don't have that out here. Do you know where I've seen that? I saw where? that one time um, driving through Dallas to a doctor's appointment in a side, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Just a, a shopping center. And it had yeah. California closets on it. I saw, I've never used it. I've never looked at it. It was just something I saw as I drove by. That was yeah. it. And he just pulled that whole memory from like four years ago into my brain to talk about it mm -hmm. weird that's a that's a new one for me um he says tell me what go get him kid he loves you he's very like he feels like a sports dad um interesting i saw he <laughs> this so i'm asking i said what is the sign in the closet can you tell me um he did a couple of things one he just showed his picture his uh face and then it fell. And I said, okay, I don't think we have like a physical picture. The next thing is that he keeps showing me, I, I, I don't think this is actually it, but essentially he shows me like a fortune cookie thing, like a little white thing with like words on it. And that for me means like, maybe this goes along with words or like you found like a word thing or something like that. But that's when he says, go get him kid like that um, or print it. Do you have any idea? Well, no, I don't. I okay, don't. don't. Okay, Leo, if, if it don't, don't fit it. Don't fit it. Don't fit it. The other thing, too, is I just want you to keep that fortune cookie thing that I just talked about in your head. And next time you go and get that, open it up and send me a picture of what that one is. Okay. 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 Now, don't go tonight. Don't go, like, intentionally no. do it. Like, no. wait, wait no. till, like... The husband says something or it's like, oh, we're going here and read it and watch what it says. I bet it's going to be something like from him. Just look and you'll see. Okay. You'll shit a brick in the restaurant. You'll be like, what? Okay. Um, he says that. What? Tell me. Hold on. He's talking about Christmas. He's talking about. I'm asking about the closet. Um, and he's talking about how. Were you actually able to turn this into like a beautiful little winter wonderland lodge looking thing? Oh, yeah. Cool. I cool. I'm in California for business, but I live in Denver. Shush. So, really? It, it does look like a, like a lodge. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. He just made it very warm and then he yes. like wrapped stuff around a banister and he made it very like loving and like glow everywhere. And I'm like, okay, That's, so it's like yes. a wonder. Yeah, yes. and he's talking about how great it is. And he says that, hold on, what, bud? I'm going to ask him about passing in a second. Um, But tell me, what, 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 what? Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. In the closet, the whole sign thing, was it just like a random little object that you found? Like, out of like a coat pocket or something or what is that that's as far as i'm getting right now i can smell him in the closet oh well that okay okay he shows me coats he shows me shirts and he shows you yes. going yes yeah yeah i did that and i could smell yeah. him yeah yeah i would say yes i would yeah. say yes absolutely and and yes. the, do you know why it would be in the closet 
Do you want to know why? Because you go there alone. And so you have time to focus and bring in. It also happens if you take a shower alone or if you are like I get a lot of my messages while I'm blow drying my hair. I have no idea why. Um, and I will write them down. You are kind of like in a meditative state when you're picking stuff out or when you're in there putting stuff up. It's a thing. It's a way for them to connect with you. So, yeah, so absolutely. It's also interesting because I smell my dad from time to time, like super mm-hmm. strong in the closet. Mm-hmm. And I always wondered why, like why the closet? Mm-hmm. We live in this house with my husband's dad and I yeah. share every single space. The closet is mine. Oh, see, that's why. Mine. I had no idea until yeah. just now. Yeah. Yeah. My that's sister. your little, uh-huh. That's why it's happening. So I would even say, no, this is going to seem you're going to be like Amy, WTF, mate. Um, But I would even say, if you can, put a little, like, make it a little sacred space. I mean, not only for your clothes and your stuff, but maybe even, like, set up a little picture for dad and set up a little yeah. area just for him. Um, And that's your little thought area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it would be like this house that we have. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, so it's because it's exciting and it's yeah. fun and and he loves it. The other thing, too, is, you know, if I sat there and channeled, I mean, there's, you know, people that people that do this and they're like, oh, he loves you. Well, that's great. I know he loves you. Yes. And you do, too. And he clearly said it here. But I want evidence. I want you to know that he sees every fucking thing. And I don't want you to like be like, oh, well, maybe no. And so the game that I'm talking about, I this is called a, a type of game for me with them is can you tell me what's in the house? Yeah. OK. And so they see things They're Hold on. They're talking about come here and then I'm going to ask them about <sighs> what. Shut. But he wasn't married to your mom at the end of his life. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He says he's had bimbos. I was like, oh, well, that's great. I'm glad you're saying that. That's literally the term he uses. <laughs> I haven't used that word. I would go watch my stuff. That's not a word I commonly use literally ever. The term he uses. He showed, can I tell you, Bunny's going to kill me. Um, You know, Bunny and Jelly Roll, he, he flashed Bunny's face. And he was like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, you're gross. Stop it. And then he's talking about blonde bimbo. I was like, Brenny's not. She's very, she's one of my good friends. I was like, no. And so, but the, he's bringing all that up. And, and uh, he's like, all they want is, I was like, I know. And he says that, oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks so for all. Um, so I know. He's, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And he, this. he did this in the hospital. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's your dad. And he says that, tell me, what, 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 what? He's playing uh, Black Velvet. What are you doing? Um, black Velvet in the sun. Da, 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 da. Are you making me listen to like old school rock? Is that what you're doing right now? Now he has. I don't think. Yeah. He, I don't know if he knows that song. No, oh, it's I know, I know, I've never heard it before either. But let's let's look at real quick. So this is a clue, okay? Um, hold on, let's figure out when was Black Velvet made. Um, okay. hold on, I have to look up who sings it. Yeah, Black Velvet. Uh oh. interesting who's when are you 1989 when when's your birthday 91 you're 91 okay this came out in january of 1990 that's the only reason i was asking and and it was pre-recorded um in uh four singles in 1989 album um and so and it's a canadian singer i know he's not canadian I would even say there's probably, oh, there's going to be a deeper, I'll have to look at that. There's going to be a deeper meaning that goes okay. with this song. 
okay. and what it is. Um, and I'll, I'll look at it later. I'll have to figure it out instead of like spending time. But he says, it's funny. He told you, he said that you're younger than me. Um, but he, I'm 88. He said, but by like a, a couple years, I'm like, okay, maybe this is 1990. Maybe he's talking about your birth. Um, and he says, tell me, hold on, come here. There's a reason why he played that. Hold on. Who is... What? There's not like a brother that you have, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about your husband then. Um, He's going through... Not that your husband is your brother, but it would be like a son for him. So we'll keep yes. that there. Um, And he keeps talking about the kids. So we're talking about your husband again as well. And he like loves this guy. Um, he says that he knows how to take his shit, essentially. Um, and that's good. And he's talking about how, come here, come here, come here. I got a secret to tell you. Um, he's saying that, come here, what happened? What was going on? I'm going to walk him through. He's trying to talk about your house more. And I'm like it, redirecting yeah. him. Um, it's like herding cats. Come here, bud. Blue, blue. Hold on. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. Um, he put oxygen on his face. Um, he had his eyes open really, really wide. He had him go like that. Um, he had this thing of I don't think he was on oxygen the entire time I don't think that's a thing yeah. but maybe yeah your dad um but maybe it ended up having to be put on him like at the end to try to like revive or something or like revitalize um he's making me hear beep 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 he says and I'm going and I'm like and he puts this thing which is like an emergency oxygen mask. And I go, holy shit. And he talks about his little peepers just opening up. And that just for me means that it's kind of like in shock for it. And then he's talking about when he's opening up his eyes. I don't know if he's meaning figuratively, like on the inside, like spirit eyes or his physical eyes. And he's talking about seeing the light and essentially like I'm going, I'm leaving. Um, and he's like being pulled. Um, he says that what was going on? Hold on. Routine, routine. What? What do you mean by routine? Routine, routine, routine. Come here, come here, come here. Tell me. Hold on. Odd. I can feel you touching his hand. Um, I can feel you. Um, but he's out of it. But he's out of it. So I don't know what. So. And he's talking about, I can feel you walk around and he's not there. And he's looking from this way. So he's like out of his body or trying to be out of his body. And I can hear you say, dad. And he, what, what, what? What? Interesting. It's almost like his grandfather was there to take him home. There was an older man that was there to take him home and he keeps saying grandfather. So I don't know. I don't think it's your grandfather. I think it's his grandfather was there to take him home. Um, and he's like, who to thunk it? Essentially. I go, oh, okay. They weren't close. They weren't close. No. I know. I know. I know. And that's why he was like the whole comment of like, who to thunk it? Like, it's just weird. You know, like, that's what you say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's very good at this. And he's talking about how. Um, hmm. Wow. So we did have a chance to say goodbye then technically. Yeah. I said, so what happened at the end? What was going on? And I hear everybody with this really here, feel everybody with this really heavy heart saying goodbye, goodbye, dad, goodbye, dad, goodbye, dad, which means that there was some sort of choice going on or something. And does, he's saying there like, he, there was a choice. Does he, yeah. sorry, does he remember the, no, convers okay. the conversation we had? Let's see. Hang on, hang on. With you, with him or you with other people? 
You with him? Okay. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Wow, the fear. Hold on. It's the fear of letting go. Not from you, for him. Yep. It's interesting. He's trying to be strong. He goes like yeah. that, which is okay. Um, which means we can't necessarily talk, but the inside of him is like, uh, but he doesn't want to say that, but there is that fear of letting go. Um, I've never actually felt that before. And he's talking about how, hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Hold on. Give me a second. Interesting. So we actually did give him morphine? Yeah. Yeah. All I hear is, I'm going to give you something to make you more comfortable. That's it. Yeah. Somebody's saying that. Can I tell you something? Yeah. yeah. What? So the night my dad passed, uh, he was sick for a long time. And, uh, he kept having these heart attacks um, while he was recovering, and uh, like he, we thought he was going to make it, and I got a phone call that said that he wouldn't, and so I went to the hospital, and I thought he was going to be like out of it, and I got to the ICU, and the nurse said, um, well, you need to go in there and get his permission like to die, Yeah, and I was like, what? And she's like, you need to, you need to get his permission. And so I was talking to him and I, and I was kind of explaining the situation. He couldn't talk. He couldn't no, talk. I know. Yeah. 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 That's why he's. He couldn't talk. And uh, I said, cause he goes, I don't want to die. I want to live. And I said, I know dad. And I said, specifically, I said, is it okay if we make you comfortable? I specifically said that. that. I said, I'm going to make you comfortable. And I knew there was so much fear in him because I mm. knew he didn't want to die. He wanted to live. And he said that. He goes, I don't want to die. I want to live. And I was, holding, I was holding his hand. And I remember how warm his hand was. That's what I remember, which is how warm his hand was and how soft it was mm -hmm. that night. And he's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never had a spirit make me feel that before. You yeah. could feel, it was almost like if somebody's like, I know this is going to happen, but on the inside, no, 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 no. Yeah. There's that I, fear. I knew it. Yeah. Because he was trying True. to be so strong for me. I know. I know. And he's like, oh, it's so that's why he gave me. And the whole thing with like the thumbs up for me means that he couldn't have a voice. But no, he, obviously... he didn't have a voice for five months. He couldn't talk. Yeah. My God. For five that months. Orb? He ha they took his heart out and put in it. It is heart. Oh, my God. That is your dad. That is your freaking dad. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um. I will. I will. I don't know where my husband is. But I will see if I can have him email you later. I think he's outside taking care of the chickens. But today, in the car, we had to go into town. Um, went to go get my nails redone. And we had to go get a couple of things for, for the farm. And on our way back, I said, honey, I said, this is weird. I said, I keep seeing a guy that is on a table. And he's had open heart surgery. And his chest yes. is open. Yes. <laughs> and... And I dad. go, it's weird. It is. And I said, it's weird because he talks about being sewn back up. But it's dad. almost like he dies because of this open heart surgery thing. But it's not during the surgery. That's why it's routine. That's your fucking dad was here. It was so vivid. That means also that he was out of his body during that surgery as well. Because he showed me how big the hole was. It was he was huge. talking about it. I accidentally yes. saw it. I didn't know I was going to walk in. And I saw it. Shut up. I saw it. Huge. 
Yes. That was him. He was with me. God, when was that? 11 o'clock this morning? No, no. 930 this morning. Yeah. Yeah. He's been with me. Your dad's been with me for a while. And I will get my husband. Email you. Tell me. I think my dad's going to be with you for a long time because now that he knows mm -hmm. that you can talk to him, he's so oh, he will. Converted. Oh, I know. Well, I've been getting the name John on my spirit box a lot, but I was like, yeah, a lot. But I was like, oh, it's just it's just a John. I don't know a whole lot of John. And then somebody's been talking about Merrill Lynch. And it makes yeah. sense now because the last name is Lynch. And I'm like, oh, OK, maybe mm -hmm, that's where we're going yeah. with that. So, yeah, your dad knew about this. He was already partially out of his body back and forth, which means he was on the edge, which means he knows. But oh yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. For yeah. Months. Yeah. My God. Well, let me ask him why. I mean, obviously we had open heart surgery. That's one of the things. But hold on. Let me see. See, he's good. I told you he's good. He's, he's, a, good, he's a good communicator. And I told him, you're asking to show up to this appointment. And ah! I told him, I would. He's probably been with you this entire time. Oh, where is, you don't have a little, you don't have like a tiny little butterfly tattoo or something, like a little bitty, bitty, bitty thingy, like a little bitty, bitty. What is that about? He knows about, I was going to ask you if he knew. Oh, what is it? What got, is it? Got the tattoo. Oh, you did. Ah, oh, it's little. It's his last. It's little two wings. It's oh, his, it's his last recorded heartbeat. That's cool. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not the last recorded heartbeat before he died. It was his last recorded heartbeat before his open heart surgery and they took his heart out. It was his last oh. official heartbeat. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He showed me two like this. And I'm like, it's because it's two fucking things yes okay okay and i said what is this he says it's honor he was talking about arm and i was like it's not our wrist nothing like that and he goes it's here it's about that big and i'm like i don't know what that is yeah he knows, that he knows. Mm -hmm. oh he absolutely ah uh, yes hold on hold on <laughs> he's like bigger 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 and then he says no i was like oh okay i'll tell her all about that then and he's talking about how Wait, 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 wait. Stop being like Hugh Hefner. Be quiet. What are you doing? You're being crazy. He's essentially just told me that he's like in heaven with like cozy slippers and a robe. And he's like, he just showed me this big fireplace and he wraps it up in like an argyle robe. And I was like, all right, you're being Hugh Hefner. I understand this. But he's talking about how he likes his solitude at the same time. Oh, my God. You have drinks for him. That is good. Um, he just made me taste it. And he had you go, Dad. So it's a highball glass of some sort, it feels like, because it feels like it's wider, not like a martini. Um, and he's talking about how a little more than one, though, which is perfectly fine. So it's, yeah, it's here. And, um... So you do have like a really nice bar downstairs? No. Odd. Okay, he's talking about do it. He does this at your house. Oh, drinks? So he, yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's why I was like, and he goes yeah. through and he's showing me essentially, he has all these bottles and I think he's just showing me that he's being a cocktail person and he's flipping them around. Yes. And I'm like, all right, yes. you're That's being what extra. He, would do. he would just make drinks for everyone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah so he's so fyi he's trying to do that here and so he's but he's concocting a bar in your home and he says that dumb all the way he he, he, he has the, not changed he has not changed no 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 they don't change he just it's just harder for you to understand him because he doesn't have a mouth remember you you learned how to understand these this music that i'm i mean we're essentially singing to one another and you're applying a meaning to it, right? So this is just another form of music that you have to learn how to understand. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, but nobody ever talks about it. So then everybody's like, oh my God, it's so mysterious. Well, kind of, but that's where you go. Everything is vibration. It's just right here. You're always connected. I call him all the time. Him and I what? were like this. I, I feel him all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Like I know he's with me. 
but I don't have yeah. that communi- I don't have that communication piece where like I can't no. like the connection I like I know he wants to talk to me and it's funny yeah. because the day he passed away I said yeah to him in heaven I was like I know you're gonna send me signs I'm gonna be very open mm-hmm. to it I had this feeling that mm-hmm. he wanted to talk to me and I was like well mm-hmm. I don't know who to talk to like who's real who's not <laughs> right you pop up in my feed you pop up shut up feed, and you wouldn't stop popping up in my feed until I made that stop appointment. word of God I would he stop. You would not, you were everywhere you were everywhere in my feed and finally I was like Am I supposed like okay? I'm doing this, and I scheduled you 18 months ago. Ah, yes, that's why. Okay, there's a reason why people are if they're actually booked out. There's a reason for it. Okay, because I do sessions all week long. I love it. But when somebody has a, an amazing appointment, which is essentially everybody, right? They go and they tell five other people. Yeah, and then it keeps going, right? So it gets crazy. I love him. Um, and I'm so glad you're here with me. Thank you. Yeah, this is my favorite thing in the my world to do. If somebody said, I'll chain you to a wall, you can't eat, but you can do sessions, I'd be like, hell yeah. Just <laughs> keep me here. Okay, that's essentially what it feels like. He says that, what does that mean? Hold on. <sighs> Odd. What? We're not going to have like another Christmas baby, right? What? That's so random. Are you wanting to have a baby now again? What is that? I told him I was pregnant on Christmas. Shut the fuck up. I I told him I was pregnant on Christmas and it's the, I don't have very many videos of him on my phone yeah so if i want to hear his voice and see him i play that video of him finding out he, he shut up on christmas. on christmas yeah <laughs> yeah it's okay let me tell you how that came up he goes through and i said what do you want to talk about and he made me hear wah which is like a baby cry and i said what is this and then he flashed a pic he he pulled a picture of me when i was like i guess three or four months and like because uh, I was born in November no I guess it's like a month old then um and I was in like this red little Christmas Santa onesie and he pulled the, I don't even know where that photo is pulled that out and then he said Christmas baby oh 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 and he's talking about that so he knows he's he in knows love. he's in love with my daughter I in know love. I know I know and he loves her and he says let's talk about that hold on come here but what oh so daughter can we're getting there wait so daughter can walk downstairs daughter is getting there yes. yeah okay okay i said how old is daughter can you tell me and all i feel is like we can step we can step we can step but we're like i'm gonna help you which means like we're getting there and he's talking about how what I like the outfits. I'm here for the outfits. They're talking about the cute little fits with like cute little shoes. And I don't know where they're from or what they are, but apparently it's all done up. And he's just talking about being dressed to the nines. And I'm here for it. And all the way through. I literally just said the other day, she's dressed to the nines. (laughs) Yeah, and I quote, that was it. She's in a princess phase and everything has to be tutu. And she has these light shoes. Mm-hmm. He was showing me, he showed me, oh my God, he showed me patent leather shoes. He showed me light up shoes. He showed me glitter shoes. And he showed me like what would be. She has all yeah. of those. Yeah. Yeah. He's there with her. He's there with her. And what is that? Oh. I I don't think they're, I don't think. Um, so I think he's trying to give her a gift rather than like you actually having this but he put essentially like if somebody has a giant stuffed unicorn or like a giant stuffed bear and i don't think you have that in her room maybe you do i do it was the first toy i put in her room shut up what is it and he helped me get the unicorn he was there for me when we got is it a unicorn fucking unicorn two of them stop yes and one of them's huge huge she's talking about this kid being able to run and like poof into it that's what he's talking about oh how cool look at that 
fucking unicorn. And sorry, I love this. And he says, tell me, he's floating around in there. He's fly. The way he feels is like if you got a, a ping pong ball and you threw it into a corner. That's what that's how fast this guy's moving. And uh-huh. he says mm-hmm, all the time. Who? He's talking about birthdays, bringing up birthdays, bringing Wait, up. Do that, um, do that again. What did he say? Uh, he's, he's, he's talking about birthdays. He goes, mm, or he's like singing or he's getting into that area. Um, and he's trying to talk about birthdays. Is yeah. It, ooh? ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he keeps doing. What is that about? That was the first noise that him and my daughter made together. They, that was the first conversation they had. He went, I have a video yeah. of it. Ooh. He went, ooh. ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they'll make so like that they'll make me say stuff and do stuff um or sing things because they're playing with my brain and then i'm like wait what are we talking which area just went by so fast noise. that's the exact noise yeah. i have a video mm-hmm. of he goes ooh, ooh. and she yeah. said it back mm-hmm. yep yeah, that's what it is so he's talking about your daughter he's around her home to see how it happened like while we're in this section of daughter too yeah yeah he does. He he loves her. He says, what? Screw the gym. I know. I get it. I get it. Screw the gym. Um, He's like. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. And he puts a little towel and I go, oh, and he says, I don't want to do it. I said, I don't you don't have to do it anymore. And he says he's too cool for it. Blows his hair back. I go, oh. that, that's literally his personality. He's so funny. Mm-hmm. I don't need. I know. Uh, that's exactly that's what he's doing. Well, remember he's in my body, so he's gonna do some things. Hold on. What is interesting about? Yeah, very bony, wide feet. Your little bait. He had a big ass, big toe. It was like interesting, like big. What is that about? I say all the time, Roman has my dad's big toe because it's the biggest ass toe I've ever big, seen in my okay. life. Yes. I say it all the time. And I really? Would make, I would make fun of him for his big toe all the time. Like, it's hideous. And then I had my daughter and she had the exact same toe. And I was like, how did Roman get your toe? Shut up. That yes. is the thing. Yes, it's a thing. Okay, okay, okay. I've never had that either. He went and he showed me, he he's walking around the gym. He takes off shoes. He says he's done with that. And then he shows me his legs that go down to his little ankles. And then he shows me his feet, which look like, like Flintstone feet, kind of. But they're not, not as bad. And then he goes and he essentially makes this big toe, like, very bulbous. Poof, like that. And I'm like, what is this? this? Yeah. Him and Roman have the same big toe. So since we're on the topic uh-huh. of Roman. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why. And he says that what Aquarius. Okay. So what is what is like in this month? Wait, that's not your husband's birthday. That's not his birthday. That's not Roman's birthday. That's not your birthday. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Come here, come here, come here. What? Whoa, 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 what? Beep beep. He's talking about a car. He's talking about I don't know why we got Aquarius. Um Hold on. February 25th. Weird. Um, February 25th. So maybe it's the end of February. Maybe it's a Pisces thing then. Maybe that's what you're trying to get with me then. Um, hold on. Hold on. He should have got a red car. He had a... What? Did he have like a white Tahoe or something or bigger than that? What did he have? What did he have? He said should have got a red car. So that means for me it's either black or white, but it feels lighter always, colored. He always joked about getting a red five speed. Yeah. He joked about should have got a red car. Yeah. Okay. Red five speed. Yeah. Uh huh. And he's talking about staying with something boring but nice but good yes! size. He always yeah. said that. He would always say yeah. it's boring but it does the job. It's boring, that's, but it's nice. It's boring. Yes. He yes. Always yeah. Say that. That, uh-huh. That's why he put something. So what would be boring but nice in my head? Well, like a, a really top of the end Tahoe, right? A white yeah, one. A Chevy. It was like a Chevy SUV. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, oh it is. Okay. Chevy. Chevy Tahoe. Chevy. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. He had a Chevy. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. So there's another thing. Um, I would, I don't know all the Chevy SUVs or that, but I know that he says that. Tell me. What? Who did we give that car to? He said, sell it back, sell it back, sell it back, sell it back. But it feels like it was given away rather than sold back. I mean, I, you don't have he, it. Had, he had two Chevys. So one of them I bought from him. Mm -hmm. And then another one we sold back to his company. So I don't know if he's trying to say that, like, I bought the car from him, which I did. You did. Okay, so this is this is what I would say. He's probably trying to talk about both of them. And he's showing me one is bought, and then he keeps saying sold back, sold back, sold back. So I would have to say he's trying to mention you buying one, and then he's trying to talk about the other one being sold back to the company. One. He's talking about my Jeep that was sold to me as a lemon after he passed. I sold back the Jeep and bought a Range Rover. Did you really? Yeah, what happened to it? The what Jeep, was wrong with it? It's just completely shut down. Like, it's just stopped working. And I had, like, an utter meltdown because he passed away. My Jeep died. And, and it was, like, my pride and joy. And I yes. sold it back. And I got it. I got a a Range Rover Velar. Oh, those are good. I like those. Those, those drive very nice. I went and I tested those. Those mm -hmm. are very cool. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. And, ooh. I think that's what he's Did you get about. in, like, a, did you get in a silver-ish color or, like, a gunmetal color? Black, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I said, what color is it? He talks about a sheen and then he makes it like almost like the color of a, a gun. <laughs> That's why I was like gun metal. Um, odd. I guess I could go over black too. Um, he's saying that he goes, it's nice. It's nice. I go, okay. And he's talking about how, tell me, come here, bud. See how he's working this. Hold on. Wow. Wow. Interesting. He's talking about. So he's showing me rings. He's t turning into a, a bracelet. He talks about David Yurman, which is weird. So maybe he has a lot of um, like black or like carbide. I don't know. Um jewelry he shows me gold rings but it's like hold on give me a second it's almost like we don't know what to really do with all of his like accessories like that or something because you have the little pile of the rings and the accessories and stuff you have that you do didn't have, so i just bought a bunch of gold rings you did. What do you, why, where, how? I just, I, 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 yeah, he knows. Mm -hmm. I just That's why he made me go like this. Yeah. I just went out and bought a bunch of gold rings. What brand are they? Not David Yerman. You know. It's just, it's just Jared. Jared. Okay. Okay. I was, so let me tell you about, I was on Saks and I was looking at all the new collection for David Yerman and I have like four things in my cart and he brought up that and I was like, odd. Okay. I mean, I have bought them oh, yet, but they're all in there. He's being very materialistic, this call. He's, like, into my, yeah. house, my car and yeah. my room. Oh, yeah, my yeah. Well, because he's wanting you to know that he's there and he's around and he loves you. You already know that he loves you um, and that he's heard. We went all into, like, the deep emotional part, right? All of that. Now it's just fun. And he's saying, oh, and toes, too, and your daughter. And tell me all the way. Wait, wait, wait. Come here, come here, come here. You're like, I need to relax for me. I need to relax for me. And he's like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's what he keeps saying. So he's like with you during conversations. And he's talking about, I guess, do you get, this is a little thing, or do you get annoyed with your father-in-law? Yes. Okay. He's talking about like, now this is all feelings and looks. He has you, if you're in a kitchen or something, and your husband's there, I guess, and you're like,
and I'm like, you walk off. And I, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, who is this? And he goes, that pansy. And I was like, oh, we're fighting words. What are we talking about, bro? Yeah. Yeah, he, and he's talking. To, does he ever me. come to me in any signs? Like, like physically? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to create. So this is the whole thing. So many people look for signs like, oh, my God, I have numbers, right? The number thing, the 111, 222, 444, all that jazz. That's essentially the universe and your loved ones saying, yes, we're here. Hey, you're on the right path. When we go into like pennies and coins and feathers, like that's good. But can I can I teach you what to do? OK, and then you can send me the signs that you're going to get from him. OK, and that way, you know, 110 percent. This is what I want you to do. So tonight um, when you're going to bed. When the TV's off and everything like that, you take a second, you take a deep breath, you kind of calm down or go in your closet. Do that before you go to bed. Take five minutes in your closet by yourself. Okay. So then what you do is you say, Dad, can you please come here and be with me? He's there. You just got to ask. Then what you do is you start remembering some really good memories you had of this person or even like watch some of the videos. Watch that video. Okay. Remember, remember, remember. You're going to start to cry. That's good. That's love. That's what we want. And then what you do is you say, Okay, Dad. I want to create a sign or a symbol with you. And when I see it in my world in the next two days, I know that you're with me. So we're going to start off very simple first. So I want you to ask him for a blue heart. Okay. okay. And I want you to see it in your mind. So you, if I told you to en- tell me what a banana looks like, envision it. I want you to do this with this blue heart. So you say, Dad, I want to see a blue heart in my world in the next two days. And I know you're around. And then you sit there, you say, thank you. I appreciate you. So you give that gratitude, you give that love back and then you leave. You like peel off. Okay. You go to bed. I would even say, write it down or text it to you or tell it to your husband. Be like, okay, I'm looking for a blue heart. All right. That way, you know, when you see it, that you're not fucking nuts that you did ask for it. That's all that is for. Okay. Then what you do is you let it go. You do your own thing. And I promise you that stupid blue heart is going to show up in your world in front of you. Um, or maybe you go to the store and like there's somebody uh, that you're behind checking out. And they're like, go, and, you know, Susan, go get me the one, the one with the blue heart on it. OK, like something like that. And then that is your dad. And then what you do is you're probably going to it's going to feel like your soul fell out of your butthole when that happens. And you may cry a little bit and that's good. And then what you do that night is you do it all over again. But then you change the symbol. And then I want you to change it to a flamingo. Okay. Okay. And then after that, I want you to change it to like a purple heart. And then after that, I want you to change it to his name or his last name or both together. Change it. And this is what you do. Now, what am I, why am I telling you to do this? Well, number one, you'll be able to get the sign. So you'll be able, able to have like that physical connection. But the other thing is every time you see that sign, you're going to get a feeling with it. And that feeling at first, you're going to be like, oh, it's just a feeling. That feeling is your dad. That's who he is. And so what happens down the line is if you really want him around, even without that sign, you'll get that feeling without seeing it. And, you know, he's there. And so that's how I'm teaching you to feel him. Okay. And so then that's what you do moving forward. Oh, tell me, tell me. Sorry, baby. Is there anything else he wants to to tell me before? For right now. Come yeah, on. like before our session ends. Oh, is- I mean, you can always email me and we'll figure something out okay. down the line. You're fabulous. Hang on. Um, mm-mm-mm-mm. Come here. Hold on. Tell me. Hold on. Essentially, it's like, I love you, girl. Um, you're, it's like, you're my beautiful. You're my love. You're my, um, essentially like you have it better than him um like you got you got this life or you got this better than better than he did um essentially like you know oh you i know you need my direction but it's like always here and tell me you gotta have more faith in yourself you gotta have more faith in yourself i see he keeps saying he says like at his funeral, I said how lost I was without his direction, and he was my North Star. That's the... Yeah, he is still your North Star. He is. He says, you got to have more faith in yourself. I said, I, I got it. I tell it. And he's just making me feel the feeling of you, like, that's that losing faith. And he's talking about how... Tell me. Hold on. 
Hold on. Were you texting his phone? Yes. When he was in the hospital, I sent him text messages every day, letting him know how brave he was and how much I loved him. And mm -hmm. and he couldn't really read them? Yeah, he couldn't read them. He couldn't even yeah. hold his phone. Mm -hmm. He just went through and he showed me phone and he made me see you going. And then he had this blue bubble pop up, boop, which is like iPhone, right? And then he didn't have it read. And then he did it again and again and again so he, and he again. He knows that I was texting him. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And he read them. Oh. He read them. Okay. That's how it works. So yeah, he loves you. He's around. He's not gone. Um, and he will talk anytime. And like, like this. So what, what do we do from here? Well, he's around. I want you to do the signs and symbols and we can go, my God, he will tell you about everything. I know. Anyway. I, I know he will. He, he I was know. a salesman. He will talk your goddamn hair off. Um, yes, he will. I feel like I feel like um, the movie like Whoopi Goldberg and Patrick Swayze. He's Go gonna be, yes, he's he's gonna be your Patrick Swayze. I guarantee it. I I know, and I love it. I love Patrick Swayze. That was actually one of my. I recently watched it again. It was now one of my favorite movies again. And so he. Hold on, I'm gonna have to run to my next session. Otherwise, they're gonna get mad. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get that girl some piano lessons. Can you get your, your daughter on the piano? Like that, and I quote. God, I, yes, I will get her on the piano. How do I schedule another session? Just reach out to your team. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So do this. So don't tell anybody. I don't do this for like anybody because it's all, I'm always booked out. But when you want to book again, do it um, and then email me. Well, email email my team. Let them know you did it. I'll tell them today or this afternoon whenever I'm done with right. sessions um, to be on the lookout. But just do that and then I will get your appointment. And because we have, I guess you'd even say like so much to go through. Um, I will try to get you in by like end of March. Okay, perfect. Right. I will take that. Okay. All right. like, I, like this year. Yes, perfect. Okay. Amazing. Yes. Okay. 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 So, but I love you. I love you. And I'm going to send you a recording tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you okay. so much. I love you. You're Bye. welcome. Bye.